Ventura, California, north of Los Angeles, rattles with clusters of small quakes and quake swarms, and it's ongoing as we will see. This is from Southern California Earthquake Center, SCEC, and VC Star. 24 hours after a cluster of small earthquakes in Ventura, there was a new round of them, including three that rated at three magnitude or higher. There was a 3.2 magnitude quake Friday, preceded by a 3.6 magnitude at 5.29 a.m. and 3.5 magnitude at 4.10 a.m., according to the Caltech data. About a dozen more were about two magnitude including three that rated 2.9 magnitude, and the rest were 1.9 or below. And they were all part of quick swarms of more than 45 earthquakes on Friday. They were centered in the Ventura area. Friday's wave of quakes began at 3.28 a.m., continuing until at least 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just like Thursday's cluster, most were in the west and midtown Ventura, and were three to five miles deep, according to Caltech. Now, should we be worried about this? What experts are saying about Ventura wave of earthquakes? The quakes on Friday were a repeat of what happened earlier Thursday, when there was a ripple of about 20 tremors through Ventura, including two that were over three magnitude. John Bellini, who is a geophysicist with U.S. Geological Surveys, National Earthquake Information Center explained that a cluster of small earthquakes is not unusual. He said there is usually a lot of after and before or post shakes, but they aren't necessarily an indicator that another quake is on the way. He said there is no way to say that something bigger is going to happen. And that there is, we have maps on Friday afternoon showing earthquakes in Ventura through the past seven days, and we'll see that later on. Uh, on the map ourselves. The size of each dot indicates the magnitude. The range uh, orange dots are the ones that had occurred in the past 24 hours. And a repeat of Thursday, two quakes on Thursday that were three magnitude and above. One was 3.3 at 4.58, the other at 3.4 at 5.05 a.m. a couple of minutes later. The first was centered just off the coast of Pierpont and was three miles deep. And the second was centered along the beach near the Crown Plaza Hotel was four miles deep, again according to Caltech data. These quakes were the biggest in a cluster Thursday that began just after midnight, continuing until just before 10 a.m. the next morning. More earthquake coverage. The seven of the 22 quakes Thursday were that were what the Southern California Earthquake Data Center at Caltech categorized as micro earthquakes. Their tremors measuring under two magnitude that are rarely felt more than five miles from their epicenter. And aside from the two that rated magnitude over three magnitude, seven rated two or higher, and the rest were from range 0 0.8 to 1.9. And also, California earthquake alerts are to become available statewide. Now, the earthquake depths all ranged here in Ventura from 3 to 5 miles deep. And most were centered along Ventura's midtown and west side. This is again according to Caltech. The epicenters formed a pattern roughly parallel to Ventura Avenue. And the vast majority of the quakes Thursday and Friday were small, but Bellini, like local public safety officials, emphasized the need to be prepared for a bigger earthquake. California is a seismic state, he says, and people should always be prepared for an earthquake. This is what he explains, since no one really knows when one will occur, meaning a bigger one. He says there was no way to predict earthquakes. The quakes came about three weeks after residents of the region practiced earthquake safety during the California shakeout. Close to 4.7 million people participated in the shakeout across LA, Orange, and Ventura counties, according to the organizers. Although Thursday's tremors were minor, staying prepared for earthquakes is important. Ventura County public safety officials agree. You should be able to fend for yourself for the first 72 hours after a disaster, because first responders will be overwhelmed with calls 
and also may be affected by the disaster themselves. Ventura County emergency officials told uh, the media that all residents are encouraged to prepare for emergencies by uh, one, building um, and maintaining an emergency supply kit, two, developing a plan for what to do when a disaster does occur, three, staying informed by signing up for VC Alert Emergency Information System, four, getting involved with community groups centered on disaster response and recovery. And for your emergency supply kit, a starting point is to include at least a gallon of water per person per day to avoid contamination. Don't store bottles directly on concrete, non-perishable packaged or canned food, a change of clothes, blankets, first aid kit, prescription medication, a battery-powered radio and flashlights, and extra batteries. According to the American Red Cross, take special account for the elderly or infants if, uh, of ill family members, and don't forget food and water for your pets. Uh, this is from uh, the American Red Cross. It's on VC Star from uh, Southern California Earthquake Center. And I'll leave links below for you for this. And let's just take a look at the earthquakes together to see how many there were and where exactly they were. So here we are on site of Berkeley. This is Ventura, Oxnard. Uh, this is what we had the past few days. This is just today's quake. 1.6 off the shore. Very shallow. 0 0.2 kilometers depth. Okay, this is Los Angeles. So as you can see it's about, what, 50 miles from Los Angeles. We had a tremendous amount of activity. The whole of South California, especially today, we had this quake swarm here, also here. Uh, these are areas that have newly found faults that are part of the San Andreas Southern Fault area. And this is the area that is very active lately after the Ridgecrest earthquakes. This is what gave us a 4 magnitude, 3.6, 3.3, within a few minutes of each other. Um, that's not Ventura, but it seems that the quake swarm has moved down here. And as we know, there this is a site of the geothermal plant, Salton Butte, Salton Sea area, Imperial Valley, El Centro, tremendous amount of earthquakes. Um, they're not small. And they have been felt. And across the border also we have another geothermal plant plugging into the magma chamber, heating up, you know, using it for uh, uh, electricity generation for Mexico. All right, so this is our Ventura area. Let's go in so you can see for yourself what's going on there. All right. That's it. There must be at least a hundred quakes there. All along this area. Okay. We don't have any there today. The blue would be today, the red would be the past hour. But these have been during the week. Okay, the closest one is this one here. Very shallow and small. And the rest are on Southern California, the southern part of San Andreas. They do seem to be decreasing as a whole. But uh, the Nevada ones seem to me to, to me to be increasing. And of course, uh, Yellowstone is picking up, it looks like. And New Madrid Seismic Zone is active. It's picking up. It's an uptick in earthquakes. So that's with Ventura, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse
and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.